How's it going, Reef Keepers? So this is another video on the EcoFlow River 2 power station, which I'm using as my uh, reef tank backup battery. I recently had um, like a broad, you know, uh, review that I put out on it, and uh, several subscribers asked for a more in-depth kind of demo or tour of the unit, um, you know, where I didn't kind of go through all of the, the bigger picture stuff and I kind of, you know, got down to the nitty gritty. So um, that's what I'm gonna do here today. I am gonna, if, if anybody missed that review, run through a couple of things first. So if you saw that review, might wanna skip forward a minute or two. Um, right now, uh, this unit is on sale. Uh, regular price is $239. It's on sale for $50 off on Amazon, brand new. Certified refurbished, it is on sale on eBay for $136. And right now, uh, there's a President's Day discount that you can apply to it on eBay that brings the cost down to $109 for this. Certifi certified refurbished, and in this case, certified refurbished means something different than it would for like a traditional lead acid UPS backup battery because encapsulated inside this unit is a lithium iron phosphate battery, right? And lithium iron phosphate batteries, after 10 years of consistent cycling, retain over 80% of their initial charge. So get your head around that. In 10 years of use, this will still be functioning with 80% or better of its initial capacity. That is in sharp contrast to the likes of Ecotech in the reef keeping industry, who offers probably the most popular backup battery option for their Vortec pumps. That backup battery option in five years will be approaching uh, uselessness for you uh, because of the battery degradation year over year. The, because the technology that they're using for that backup battery is so antiquated in comparison to something like this, right? Lithium iron phosphate. So um, I will mention before I get into this, also I upgraded the pump that I, my backup pump in the tank uh, with a slightly larger pump that I dug out of my garage because I now have the luxury of running a slightly larger pump and getting a little more flow through the tank. Um, in the case of a power outage, uh, because I have so much time on this, right? So um, my initial my initial pump, I found out looking at the back of it that it was a five watt pump, and it claimed that it would run for 14 and a half hours estimated uh, when I disconnected it from uh, wall power, from wall outlet power. And uh, it actually ran for like 16 hours and 50 minutes or something like that, close to 17 hours. So um, Telegram, who found this deal initially and deserves the credit for it, um, he found that the estimate was very close to what it, uh, you know, what it claimed when he tested it. So, you know, for what it's worth, it's either right at the estimate or beating the estimate, depending on what you've got plugged into it, I guess, and, you know, how that product works with it. So anyhow, um, like I mentioned, this is plugged into a wall outlet behind the tank, and it's too difficult for me to get to the wall outlet now that I snaked my hand back there once. Um, I don't want to take up that kind of time on the video, but luckily, this is not, you know, um, secured in place. You can actually disconnect this and carry it around like a little mini briefcase, and for whatever it's worth, it's quite light. It's not heavy. It's seven and a half pounds, so... Let me disconnect this. You can watch it live. You may hear the slightest blip, which is just some bubbles spitting out of the pump as the propeller slows down and then speeds right back up. It's a split instant that that happens. There is no, like with my UPS, the pump would like clatter and struggle to get back going. There's nothing like this when this is disconnected. So I don't know if you even heard that. Um, I did because my ears right by the pump. Um, in the tank. This is the cabinet next to my tank. So uh, let me show you the back of this unit. All right. Here's the back. Okay. So we've got, uh, this is what I just disconnected from where you would just plug in traditional wall power. It's got a little fan grill with a fan inside, of course. And then uh, right here is a solar hookup. And when you buy it new on Amazon, at least, I don't know about the certified or furbished from eBay. When you buy this new from Amazon, uh, it comes, you can choose an option that comes with a solar cord. 
a solar hookup and mine also came with a car jack as well to charge it from your car. So they really cover the whole gamut of what would be needed to get this thing charged up, okay? Also, I'll show you, and you can look at my, my larger, broader review for more on the, the app, uh, but the app is showing 12 hours and 13 minutes. It's 100% charged. So with this slightly larger pump I upgraded to last night, uh, my emergency pump in the tank, 12 hours and 13 minutes, this thing is gonna run, which is phenomenal, right? Um, and as I found, that estimate was beat before, uh, at least with a Tunes AC pump. So taking a look at the front, you can see the screen, you can set the timeout on this. I disabled it for this video, but this button right here activates and deactivates the screen manually. Um, so the screen displays whether you've got Wi-Fi connection or not. Um, it displays uh, to the, it rounds to the nearest hour, how much time you have left of backup battery. This is the backup battery capacity right now. And then it's got input and output. For the record, I know this pump is under 10 watts. Um, it's either at 10 watts or under 10 watts because uh, this unit only displays output through the AC side if it is over 10 watts, all right? Or so people said in the comments. I sent them an email and said, hey, is there any way that we could change this? Because, you know, you have people with specific use cases like us reef keepers who may want to know that. But, um, you know, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not expecting them to update the app just for me. So anyhow, a tour of the front of the unit here. Let me scoot this back so you can see it a little bit better. So three prong AC outlet, two prong AC outlet on the AC side. This is the AC side. On the DC side, you'll be familiar with this kind of hookup. I'm not going to pull a little rubber plug out of there. It's in there pretty tight. Um, pull it out the first day. It is just a, like what you would expect to have for one of these jacks in your car. All right. And I'm actually going to link in the description along with the link for uh, the eBay sale uh, certified refurbished item. I'm going to link a component that Telegram found and posted uh, where you can plug plug jack into this and then it's an adapter. The other end will plug into your control box for your Ecotech Vortec. So many people have those pumps and this is such a better option than the Ecotech battery. Um, I'm going to give you the whole, the whole package if you just want to go and get it. All right. So DC sign covered here in the front familiar to everyone, USB-A, USB-A, right? You've got a million cords that run that. You can charge your phone off this thing, your iPad, whatever, um, you know, and then notably USB-C, which I think is great. Um, everything's going that way. I'm a huge fan of USB-C. And I'm gonna show you something pretty interesting, which not many people are mentioning. Take a look at this. So this right here, is plugged into my laptop charger. I ran an extension cord across the room to show you guys this. <laughs> Check this out. So let's plug that in there, give it a second to detect, and then boom, you're off and charging with just whatever, you know, like laptop charger you have laying around. I don't know about, you know, lower wattage output chargers, but here it goes, displaying recharge time till it gets back up to 100%, displaying the input of wattage that it's you know pulling into itself right now um for the for what it's worth this the reason i got this even was that this does not function like one of those big giant batteries that you, you know are for like campsites and stuff like that where it's just intended to it's only going to work when you plug things in this functions as a ups they actually call it eps um, e standing for emergency, I believe. So when it is disconnected from power for any reason, anything plugged into it and active will retain its connection and it will just flip over from pass through energy to drawing energy from the battery, right? So just like I demoed with the pump earlier. So I just want to clarify that is how it works. I didn't do anything special to make that happen. There's also this, and you can check out the video that Telegram posted on this. If it runs all the way out of energy and then like you, the power comes back on or the sun comes up and starts charging your solar that you have connected to it, 
as soon as the battery charges back up a little bit, like a small amount, maybe 5% or less, it automatically reactivates whatever's plugged into it, right? So that will automatically happen. There is no like coming back in and reactivating outlets or commanding it, you know, to pick up this or that load. It just remembers what it was doing before and what you wanted it and intended for it to do and starts doing it, right? So um, pretty phenomenal in my opinion. Now for the price right now, $109 certified refurbished and knowing that the battery being what it is, lithium iron phosphate, you're gonna get like 80% or better uh, battery capacity even if you buy it certified refurbished. Um, <laughs> If, even if you bought an Ecotech battery backup yesterday, if you have like a hundred bucks laying around, it's free shipping on eBay. I would spend it and just throw that Ecotech battery right in the trash where it belongs after you lug it out there and sweat while you're doing it. The thing is so heavy. And just buy this now, knowing that that battery is gonna be trash in five years and that this will last 10 and still have 80% capacity left for you to run your reef tank in the, in case an emergency happens and the power goes out. Uh, it is, in my opinion, it is such a dynamic product. It contains such good battery technology. It's easy to move around and manipulate. You have all these different charging options that you can utilize for it. To me, I just, I'm not going to look for anything else for a long, long, long time. Um, I would maybe consider, and you should consider too, if you have the money, upgrading to like the, this is a 256 watt hour version. It's the entry level. Maybe consider the 512, right? I think there's a 768 as well. Um, you know, it's like, of course, double the money for the 256 watt for, or the 512 watt version, but it's on sale too, right? So is the 768 and you're just growing the unit a little in height and a little in you know width every time you bump up in capacity and you get more ports way more ports every time you up up to the next level i think that it's like ecoflow river 2 pro and then max or like reverse max and then pro take a look at their offerings guys um or get this one with a hundred and um or with a, with a solar panel why not they offer packages, and I'm sure that the solar panel comes at a, a, a slightly better cost if you buy the package. So anyway, um, can't sing its praises enough. I don't want reef keepers to go out there and shell out 215 bucks every five years, every four years, if they wanna be safe about it, for a, a new Ecotech battery backup when they could just run their Vortex right off of this with a little, you know, whatever it is, $10 component that I've, I've linked in the description. I mean, it's just, uh, I hate the thought of people buying products that are antiquated, uh, frankly, in my opinion, obsolete now, and that will not serve you nearly as well as the same or less amount of money of value will. So please take a look at this, guys. Um, it's a great option. All right. Thanks very much. Any questions you have for me, please leave them. And if you have any, like, deeper level technical or electrical questions, uh, Telegram volunteers his time and always does for anyone who wants to know more. Um, you can reach him on here, uh, on Instagram. Uh, he's a great guy. He will, I'm, I guarantee you respond. So, all right, guys, have a good one.